Hi guys, so today I'm reviewing Miss Bianca by Marjorie Sharp. It is the second book in the Rescuers series, and if this cover or the title sounds familiar, you've probably seen the Walt Disney animated production, The Rescuers. It's actually loosely based off of this series, but the first movie is based off of this novel. The story follows the Prisoner's Aid Society as their Madame Chairwoman, Miss Bianca, brings to their attention the story of an eight-year-old girl who was taken from her orphanage to the Grand Duchess's Diamond Palace. Now, this may sound really nice, but it's not. Patience is working there as a servant who, whenever she makes a mistake, gets a beating, and she's basically living in an unloving, unfeeling home setting. And it's not even that. The Diamond Palace is a very cold, harsh place to live. Patience takes it upon herself, not patience, Miss Bianca takes it upon herself to rescue this little girl and put her into a loving, warm home. I really enjoyed this book. I enjoyed it even more than the first one. I found that the author just developed her characters better. There was a better flow to the story. The only problem was with the writing. I did not like that she still used the same problem with the vocabulary. The story is, I believe, for 8 to 10 year olds. And unfortunately, if I have to go and grab a dictionary, like stop mid-sentence to go and grab a dictionary because I've never heard the word before. And I have a pretty good vocabulary. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not good. I'm not trying to put down and be like, well, little kids don't have any vocabulary. I'm just stating, um, if it's like a 16 letter word and it means something that's maybe like an eight letter word, she could have easily just put the other word in. She didn't have to go and check out a thesaurus for this humongous word that nobody's heard before just to make it sound like she's higher intellect than other people. And I'm not trying to put her down, like, good for her, but just not in a child's story. I really enjoyed the development of Miss Bianca. I found that it was a lot better than the first book. I really found that the characters were flat. There wasn't really any development at all. And this one, the characters were very rounded. Not, like, well-rounded, but at least starting to develop more. And I really enjoyed the growth that Miss Bianca had. I also enjoyed the flow of the story. It wasn't as choppy in bits and it wasn't as hard to get through. I just felt like it flowed very well from one scene to the next. Another really great thing is the illustrations. These illustrations are done by Garth Williams. And if you've ever read Charlotte's Web, Stuart Little, or The Trumpet of the Swan, you most definitely have seen his illustrations before. Now his illustrations add to this story an extra level that just works well. They aren't colored like most in most of the illustrations in children's novels nowadays that I've seen and I'm really happy that they weren't because you can easily just imagine in your mind what color the dress would be, what color the mice would be, their expressions, the tapestry, what a room would look like, and you can just imagine for yourself what the scents were like, or what it would look like, or what it would taste like. Different things, it just worked well. So I would definitely recommend that you could either read this as a standalone. I read this one before I read the first book in the series, so technically this was a reread for me. And I loved it even more this second time. I got the references back to the first novel. I also got to see Miss Bianca's development, as I said before. So you could read it as, a, as the first book if you wanted to. But maybe give the first book a try if you haven't read it yet. I'm also curious, have any of you read the Rescuer series? If so, let me know down below, because as far as I know nobody's reading this series anymore and it's a really fun cute series so that is my review if you guys have any questions you want to ask feel free to leave them down below and i'll get back to you 
See you next time, and go pick up a random book and read. Bye, guys.